All right, so uh, what I've created here is a uh, EOC radiogram. Uh, it was specifically designed for Vector, which is a uh, Vancouver Emergency Community Telecommunication Organization. Uh, basically, what it is is a radiogram form. I believe it's the I guess the standard form used for sending in uh, exercises and for uh, your real emergencies. So it should uh, look fairly common to what the other forms out there look like. So this uh, form works with uh, Packlink, which of course Packlink uh, uses uh, either Outlook Express or Thunderbird and other email clients, but uh, it, in this particular case it was designed to work with Outlook Express. So uh, let's bring that up here. And what this form will do is when you fill up this form it will automatically uh, start up a new email and populate the body of the uh, form uh, with the uh, contents of this uh, information you put in there in a nice uh, clean uh, tidy order so I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, show you so you have uh, different email addresses you could send to and uh, it's all been preloaded into a text file that you could uh, change and you can uh, again as well if you don't see what you want you could uh, uh, change it to uh, whatever by just uh, typing over it. So in this case, uh, uh, you know, there's uh, different uh, presidents you could choose from. Station or origin is the same. You have different uh, locations, but if uh, if it's not a location, uh, you can always uh, type type it in here like that, or I just go ahead and uh, pick one. Uh, check is the number of words that's used in a message in a standard radiogram forms. Uh, 25 words is the uh, limit. I guess they believe that uh, 25 words is the uh, maximum uh, number of words to get the message across should be uh, sufficient. Uh, time filed. I'm gonna go ahead and put the time. The date is uh, populated, and then of course uh, the subject line of the email message. Either it's going to be an exercise form, or it's going to be the uh, you know, actual exercise, uh, actual message, and again, uh, the subject line you can just overwrite and type over it to whatever you want. To uh, let's see, name EOC position. I guess the. Uh, uh, I guess I don't know what to put the uh, ambulance here, organization, whatever, and telephone. I've one two one two. And we get down to the message box here, so I just go ahead and uh, type in a uh, message. Oh, I should say uh, this is a test message. So as I populate this, uh, you'll see the uh, check number on the uh, uh, top right here automatically uh, populate with the number of words. In this uh, case, there's six words because uh, the X is which is the end of the message uh, still counts as a word and originator myself position okay so once the message is filled out and completed as soon as you click uh, to Outlook, what that will do is it will automatically start up a uh, new message uh, in Outlook Express and you can see it uh, populate here, which I'm going to go ahead and click and you'll see right now. And that's it. So what you see here is uh, it's Marples, six words, the subject line, and then you get your message number, routine, all that stuff is all populated from the form and you can see it's all filled out nice and easy without uh, having to uh, individually try and type this out. And uh, as far as the rest of the options, auto send to email, uh, what that will do is instead of you having to send the message after it's complete, it will automatically send it for you. So once the body of the message is populated automatically will hit send for you and it'll just disappear off the screen. So you have a choice there. And uh, as far as the rest, clear message will clear the message.
but it does leave the the date populated and of course you have to uh, put the new time in uh, once you get it from the uh, I guess the whoever gives a gives you the form and uh, that's about it